Hi, this is Lisa Curly Malice, your Time Strategy Visionary. And today I'm going to tell you a story about one of my clients. She is awesome. An entrepreneur, sits on numerous boards, has a couple of kids, married. So she runs all those roles. Wife, mother, sister, aunt, uh, board member, community advocate. Like so many things. Um, make up this wonderful, wonderful woman. And sometimes because of all <laughs> she has going on, she gets a little overwhelmed. And during one of our coaching calls the other day, she shared with me that she was so upset and so frustrated with the papers in her office. And we've talked about the papers in her office a couple of times and um, she can get them cleaned up. It takes her a while, like a probably a month or two months to get in there and really dig in and, and, and get everything where it needs to be. And then within just a couple short weeks, it, it's gone back to the way it was. And so um, she was frustrated. She was beating herself up. Why does, you know, how do I always let it get like this? Why can't I keep it the way it needs to be? All of those things. And so I suggested that she reach out for a resource because truly she's got so much stuff that she is great at Papers just happens not to be one of them. So why is she taking time away at what she excels at in her gifts to do a task that she doesn't love and she's not very good at? And so I said, why don't we reach out for help? Let's grab a resource. Why don't we go ahead and get in a professional organizer? I had a resource uh, of someone who was really great at this. It's her life's calling. She's so good at helping get it the first time and then set up systems to make sure it continues in a great uh, fashion. And my client said to me, she goes, I don't have that money in my budget for someone to help me do a task that I should be able to do myself. And so right there was a great opportunity for learning because just because you should be able to do a task yourself doesn't mean you do it. Uh, who said who should? <laughs> you know what I mean? So instead, we walked back to look. These are the things you're great at. Let's spend time there. And let's make sure that you um, let someone else come in and spend in time there. So the should piece we took apart, the I don't have the money in the budget for that or I haven't allocated money in the budget for that, we started to think about, well, how could that look? How could we change that? And what we came across was gift, a gift certificate to a professional organizer. Whether it be one of the winter holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever, or anniversary or birthday or however that looks, we know when you reach a certain age, <laughs> you pretty much have the material possessions that you want. And so here's a chance to think outside the box. And so my client asked her family for the next holiday to go ahead and instead of buying her material gifts to get her gift certificate to a professional organizer. So the moral to this story is a couple things. One, spend the time in the area of which you are most brilliant. And in those other areas, bring in help. It's not a horrible thing to ask for help. And secondly, if you're looking at a budget and thinking, oh, I don't know that I have the money in there, ask for it as a gift. Lisa Curly Malice, your time strategy visionary, wishing you a productive, rewarding, and fun day. And if you have any comments, questions, do not hesitate to comment in the link below. I reply personally to all comments. Thanks.